Bad news for health care in the islands why the state's Medicaid system is in danger of collapsing. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. Last week it was the state's pension system. This week the governor is bringing more bad news that the state's Medicaid system providing health care for a quarter of our population faces collapse. As KITP 4 Daryl Huff explains, the governor sought help from the people who take care of our poorest and most vulnerable residents. Hawaii's Medicaid population has exploded 27 percent in three years. 267,000 poor and disabled residents count on Medicaid, a number that outpaces state finances. I will be with you every step of the way. Help me help you to help everyone that we serve. The governor told health care providers in Honolulu and the neighbor islands that the state can't afford not to cut benefits, otherwise end up in a half billion dollar hole in two years. First, I have to get our fiscal head above water. The providers were invited to put forward their ideas. One doctor said the attitude and red tape of state hired managed care companies has offended and alienated doctors who now won't take Medicaid patients. You've got it make it possible for primary care doctors, psychiatrists, etc., to deal with Medicaid without being harassed to death if you want to solve the problem. The governor offered this promise. To end that uh, cycle of obstruction that takes place by, uh, by the insurance companies and by those who uh, substitute themselves for your professional judgment. Others worried that cut services will lead patients to emergency rooms and nonprofit clinics. We do understand that we all have responsibility, but it can't just be all dumped on one or several of the health care providers. The governor said he appreciated the ideas, but also said so far he's not heard enough to overcome even more cutbacks from Congress. The new Congress, uh, which uh, appears uh, uh, dedicated to destroying the health care system uh, in the United States. Daryl Huff, KITV 4 News. The governor said he's hoping to cut $50 million from Medicaid spending this year.